Okay guys, so today we're going to be building the rack size for the truck for the 250, F250. This is a 2008 uh, pickup truck, single cup, uh, Super Duty uh, 250 and XL. So I just wanted to show you how it looks the truck like this now. Uh, we're going to be using this type of truck, this type of um, wood. Then I just show it to you in the last uh, video. Um, yeah, so this is how it looks now. I'm going to show you step by step how we do it. Very simple step. Very simple process. Not a big deal. But yeah, this is how it looks now. Without anything. This is from far away. So this is the kind of food thing I'm, I'm going to buy. This is a one by six. Um, is this green wood? Um, I'm in Home Depot here, you know already. Um, this is the price. This is the wood I'm getting because ten dollars and fifty-seven cents each one. So this is the way that I put it. I took a metro from here. I just laid it down like that so to kind of calculate how many of those will I need for my truck. This is just an estimation because I'm here. Once I get in the in the yard, I will see exactly what I'm going to do. But just to see it here, it's like around 30, 31 inches from there to here, and leaving some kind of space in between, like this, which will work. Problem. I'm going to change this wood for another one actually. But this is the idea. So I'm going to get the, that wood. This is for this for the back of the truck. Uh, this is a a foot. Um, yes. Okay. So we already cut the two by fours in half. Like I'm going to build like this. That, that has four feet high. Four feet high. From here, all the way to the to the end, we bought eight foot uh, two by fours, and then we cut it in half. And now what we did is we did this thing. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Basically, we cut it. We cut it this way and that way. Um, why we did that? Well, here. As you can see, I don't know how is your truck, but my truck is this way. So we wanted to be able to fit the two by four inside. Um, let me show you here inside how it looks like. I don't know if it's clear, but even the edges are round. It's not straight, but it's round. So we took some measurements there, and this is how, how it looks. See? Um, good um, this is how we did it so let me show you here a bit first of all um, once we cut it that way once we cut it like this so since it was since this was was kind of round you see the edges are kind of round round so since it was round what we did is we took the knife and we are like gently passing the knife this way the four edges be careful with this thing because it's dangerous um, the four edges same thing here same thing here so basically so this is how we did it and then this is how you end with this kind of wood like this kind of round the edges I don't know if you can see it you see it's kind of round a little bit round you see if your truck is different you may not have to do that but in our case we had to do this thing doesn't have to be perfect because this piece of wood is going to go inside of these holes i have three holes here in the truck three here and three and the other side are six holes so 
So you see, and then so there is something here inside. I don't know if you can see here, piece of metal there. So we took metalman from inside to here, like this, and then the same metalman we use here. See there. So this piece of wood is going to go inside of that hole. It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be perfect again, but this is how basically it goes. And that's it. See? That's how we wanted to do it. So this same example we're going to follow for the, all of them around. Okay? So I just wanted to show you the process there. These are the piece of small pieces of wood. And basically was here like this so we cut it like this and then we cut it like that okay so so okay so i'm going to keep doing the other ones and then i will show you how it looks like okay guys so i already put all the all of the six two by fours there so you can see this is how it's looking that's not a high thing it's going to look like i will take care of that in the end of the project that's not a big deal um, but i just wanted to show you how so don't focus on the height right now just focus on how how the two reports look like it's the six of them like that um it's not level or anything i just stick there the two reports yet um so basically that wood there the piece of long wood i just put it there to take some measurements to start cutting the one by six here so don't put attention to that piece of wood there anyway uh, so yeah this is how it's looking so let's keep working okay guys so i'm still working on this um i already put in this size five pieces of wood as you can see there one two three four five five pieces of wood um so this is how i did it it's already done this size uh the spaces and i put it here i just put it the spaces here um just because i like how it looks like you don't have to do it that way uh but i think that looks nice like that um also what did i do uh this is the sticks that i'm putting in between here see i put a piece of wood like this and then i i put the wood and then i i put the screws all the way here here is another one you see and same thing over there you can just put it there here and there and then this is basically the space this is to create the space in between so how much is how uh, much is this space here let's figure it out i think it was Oh, this is this is the space. No, actually, that's not the space. Uh, let me see where this. Here it is. Uh, this is the spacing I have. This is the spacing I could read. Yeah, here. Yeah. One color and one. I mean, uh, one. Uh, eight and and sixteen here like this yeah so this is how thick is this piece and when you cut i use this this wood the same wood and i put it there the pieces in its left i just took one one of those and uh, took some measurements here and cut it with the uh, circular saw there just make sure to cut the a few of these because this breaks easily sometimes this thing you know you have to kind of make pressure here put it down so you can put the screws and sometimes to remove this it breaks easily so like I, you see i broke one here and the other side also i broke some a few ones so just make enough like five of these pieces then cut it in half with just break it down and then you can just use like half and half like this and also put it this way don't put it like that because it's going to be very difficult to remove it. Put it like that. You just wanted the space here in between, that's it. 
doesn't have to be perfect but so anyway that's how i did it here also here this is a so the wood then is going to go this this size is going to be like this not this one but the same kind of wood one by six um but this is how it's going to look like like this basically so this i'm using this like um like a tool just to make sure the wood kind of fits here you see so to put the next one i already know like where to touch you see from the wood from all the way there i will put the wood here and until it touch this piece of wood here and that will be my the measurement thing i want you can you this is the way that i do it you don't have to do it this way you can just use the tape if you want it but i think that's an easy way to do it let me show you here also. any piece of wood you can use all. any piece of wood to do this the same concept here same thing you see i did it this way also accordingly you're working you just put it up and up and up and up and up so this is going to tell you like you have to stop here this there. yeah so yep this is how it looks like uh here and this side even though i cut it the right size and everything as you can see here is not nice straight you can see it like you know it's nice straight there but that's a matter this is the back of the the truck you wanted to make sure the front is straight because you have to still work with the other piece that you're going to be uh, working there so just make sure that's straight this doesn't matter you can sand it you can cut it i'm going to leave it like that probably i'm not going to do anything because it's just to put some lips and brush here doesn't matter um also uh this is very important actually uh when you're building this thing since the truck is not a level because the ground is not level you know so just to make sure this the the two by fours are straight just use a this put it here like this like this where is it like this make sure it's straight in the back it's pushing it straight way down this thing down down and like this and then you put the screws here once you figure it out here, then it's straight. Same concept for the three of them. For all of them, actually. Same thing. Like I say, I didn't use a level because the ground may not be a level. So, but I just wanted to make sure the screws and the two or fours look kind of straight. It doesn't have to be perfect again because you're not building a house. It's just to put garbage there. Instead, you want it to at least look a little bit straight. Yeah, so that's that's how it's looking uh, the truck so far. Um, have to put uh, two more pieces of wood there, and then I'm going to work in the back part of the truck. Okay, okay, guys. So I already put together the the piece. Then it's going to go there. Um, I have to put it. I have to <clears throat> arm this thing in the ground actually because. It's going to be difficult for me to to put it here and start start putting the screws because this part of the truck doesn't allow me to work with the drill. Um, so that's why I put it. I start I I started to working in the ground. So it's already or I have to put one more piece there. Also, I painted here because it's going to be difficult for me to paint it once it's there in the truck. So that last part I will just do it with the <clears throat> with the brush. I can do that thing. It's just this part. Then it's difficult to reach there. Um, so yeah, it's painted already. I'm going to put it there. Uh, if you have somebody else who can help you to lift it up this thing and put it there, great. If not, then you have to do it by yourself. I'm doing this by myself. <clears throat> it's a little bit heavy, but not the end of the world. You can do it. I forgot to mention that you have to leave the space here this space you have to leave it so you see I mark it here uh, 
so you have to screw to put the two by four from here down this space you leave it like this and i'm going to show you why because this space is going to fit here here it's very difficult to explain i have to show it to you but i'm working along here um anyway so i'm going to show you later once i put it there um yeah so that's how you do it and this is the this wood you see this is the wood thing i use yes to i put it like this just to see the space so once i i knew that that was the space i marked it with a the pen there and then i put it in the two by four same size because i'm using the same kind of wood here um yeah so this is how you want it you see so now this this is going to go like that and then you and then i will put the screws here 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 all the way to the top i will put the screws there so this is not going to make too much pressure really these are the ones that are going to be working this is just to cover so so it looks nice and also doesn't block the the glass that i have in the back uh, yeah so basically that's that's how it's going to look like you see that's why i did it like that like that so, hey guys so i finished already the the truck um so as you can see i cut the two by four thing it was left on the top here is the pieces i throw away the other stuff already let me show you um so this is how it ends really so this is how it look like if you see from the from the picture from the video so this was like that all of them it was another one another one something there so all i did is just mark i mark with a pen here and then i cut it with a skill saw and i'm going to show you another tool that i use also to cut it especially here in the corner which i couldn't use the skill saw really so i use another tool but anyway this is how it looks like i cut it already um i didn't remove the tarp and the front because i'm going to be painting so i don't want my car to be to get with black paint um, that's why i didn't remove it yet but this is how it looks like so you can get an idea um, i will tape it once it's painted so you can see painted and not painted i wish if the tarp wasn't there so you can see it from the front but i think it's good to paint it honestly if you have it, you can paint it. So that's how it looks like. Let's see here, this size also. Um, same thing there. As you can see, I left in a space between the 2x4 and the 1x6. There. That's fine. I think it looks nice also. Um, you can cut it if you don't like it, but... That's how I, I leave it. Um, let me show you the tool thing I use to do the project. Um, so, some cables for the power, obviously. Skill saw. This is a circular saw or a skill saw. I don't know how you want to call it. Um, hammer, if you have a hammer. Yes. This tool is very important, actually. You should get one of these things if you are in the landscape uh, area. If you're working as a landscaper, um, buy this tool this is very useful um, like for example I just cut the, the piece of wood and I couldn't reach with the skill saw I cut it with this thing very good tool um, a tape these are the kind of screws that I use to do this project these are the size thing I used for the project um, so you can use the same screws or if you want to use Another type of screws that's fine too. Every box it comes with this with this kind of tool here. It comes this thing. This comes inside of every 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 box of this one. So if you buy one of these things inside you will find something like this. 
just put it in the drill you will need a drill obviously that's very important and also the pen um, let me show you the screws why I use these screws you can use any screws or um, so look at this so so that's why I use this this size you see how you see it's kind of half and half uh, and I put it a little bit inside as you can see it's not like flat you can leave it flat if you want it but I leave it inside a little bit like this so and that's how basically it is just make sure that the screws doesn't come here in this size as you can see I don't have any screws there uh, but this is this is why I use this type of screws the size basically and I love this this one and it has the head like this I don't know if you can see it like this the the other, the other type of screws is kind of pain in the neck for me these ones are very easy to work with very easy so if the screws goes here inside and I wanted to remove the screws for any reason the screws will come out right away with that with that tool then it comes inside of this box but if you're using other type of screws it's kind of pain in the neck to remove the stuff from there it doesn't come out so anyway that's a preference um yep so that's how it looks like um so i'm going to paint it now i'm going to blow up with a blower i'm going to blow out the debris thing is around the truck whatever is there so it doesn't blow out whatever debris in the paint okay guys i already finished the work i paint everything black as you can see here the same thing black this thing also is black there um it's looking nice actually um i may have to do a second coat of black there not sure i may just leave it like that because that's going to get scratching everything anyway but i did put some uh, uh, blue tape there so do not make a mess uh, I'm going to leave it like that until tomorrow to see how it looks like if I feel that it needs one more coat I will do it but I kind of I want it just to leave it like that anyway so that's that's how it looks like you know um, this is from like this from far away from the distance let me see from the distance this is from the distance uh, oh, let me see from this side yeah so I think that's good like again I'm not a carpenter so that's the way that I did it and I'm happy with the work finish it in one day not even one day, a few hours along. Mm. So yeah, looks nice, looks clean. Um, it's strong. Mm. Yeah, so it's good, it's good. Um, looks very clean actually. Uh, so I put it, this time I did it with screws. Usually I do it with bolts like this type of bolts this is how I usually do it I just, as you can see we did it this truck last year or two years ago um, it looks nice like that too but I was lazy to do it so I just put some screws there but it's good you can do the same concept with play boot um, with the 2x6 1x6 you can put more distance you if you don't want to put any distance between the wood you don't do that uh, that's up to you really I like I like it like that yeah so, it looks long it's, that's an eight feet long bed looks nice 
pretty nice. This is the height in Iwane also, like a little bit over the, the top of the truck. I didn't want it to do it too high. So I'm happy with it, how it looks like from far away. Any questions, please uh, write me and I will try to answer as soon as I can. Uh, but yeah, the reason that I did this video, because uh, when I made the, the first uh, uh, truck, the rack size to, for my first truck, uh, some people were asking me like what kind of wood I was using, what kind of screws I was using, uh, all of that kind of questions. So I said, okay, so this time I'm going to do it like one step by step. So you can see it but yeah that's how it looks like I have to put lettering on the truck I haven't done that I just bought this truck that's why it doesn't have any lettering okay okay guys so good luck in your project and please uh, put some pictures and upload some videos so we can all see it how it looks like your project